projects that I did previously, the first semester I decided to make a remote control car that couldn't really crash, so if it bumped into a wall it would back up, turn around, and like continue going without me controlling it. Second semester I decided to make a judo bot and it wrestled, and it was like this really big car and it had skis on the back and it turned and it would like spin and try to knock people off. It eventually failed because the controls were all wonky and it was just getting overloaded, but it was still a very fun idea. I made a checkout scan that's off it. Like I blue, red, and yellow, so if the color sensor saw red, it would say, oh, you have X, Y, and Z. That is X money. So it was like a cash register? It was cash register, yeah. With the colors? Yeah. And I built a taco building robot um, that actually moves um, pieces of food onto a tortilla, and then you just close the tortilla, and then you make a taco. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. Welcome. new computer, Julia? I'm so happy! <laughs> that looks pretty nice. Lag. You have a plan yet for your final project? Uh, I want to build something that can hold a pen and move it around on a piece of paper. My dad and I were actually talking this morning and we come up, we came up with three ideas. One of them was sort of like the thing that you have in warehouses where there's two tracks and there's a bar in between them, kind of like a claw machine and it can slide along the bar and then the bar can slide back and forth. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to have enough pieces to be able to build that, so that one's kind of out of the question. The other two that we thought of was an arm that has like a rip, like an elbow and a shoulder and it can move like this just lying flat along the table. Um, I don't know how I would build that. That's why the internet is available. The third one, which was like the same thing, but like up and down. So it would be, kind of, I can't move my arms the same way that the robot would work. A riding robot. Yeah, basically. Um, I'm gonna do sumo bots with Garrett. And it's gonna be fun. I'm thinking about something that like, will have it kind of like a wall, and then it'll be able to like flip over the other bots, and then that'll basically just disable them. I think I was going to do the sumo bots oh, yeah, with Octavio. I know you have. I was thinking <laughs> if I had a bot that like, I guess it would kind of like eat the other one, like it could get the other one to like drive inside it and close the door, <laughs> and would just capture it. An eat, be hard, eating robot? Work. Yes. Okay. So each semester I build my own robot in addition to the students for the last final project. The first semester I did it, I built an electric guitar. The second um, project that I did was like this musical thing where it was it spun and then whatever colors it saw it played a different note. This time I'm actually going to build a sumo bot that's going to go against some of their sumo bots. Um, what I've built so far was kind of adapted from that previous robot that I built. I'm going to try to make it low to the ground and have some kind of maybe wedge where it can get underneath a lot easier, um, but I'm not sure how that's going to attach or how effective it's going to be yet. We'll see if the if the students become the master and beat my sumo bot, or if I can build something that beats all of theirs. Where do you want to? Lorenz brought his drone again. It's a really pretty day. We're going to give it a shot. <laughs> We just flew the drone, got the footage right here. A few glitches, but I think that's how drones are. Thanks Lorenz for, for stopping by. So I'm back at school, and Lorenz says he didn't get a chance to fly it much, and asked if I'd want to fly it uh, maybe over the weekend. So, I get to take it home and fly it some more. 
um, which I'm really excited about. We're gonna be going up to Sarah's house this weekend to celebrate her birthday, and so there's gonna be all that open land that I'll be able to drone over. Stuff in robotics going well, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how they make some of these projects happen, and thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the drone footage, and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.